So welcome everyone. As I said, I'm subbing for Verena today. She's making us all very jealous being in Italy, so <coughs> to her. <laughs> but we'll have a, good, a nice time. So let's begin in an extended child's pose. So bring your big toes to touch and send your knees about as wide as your yoga mat. Even here, start to get your hips kind of heavy. You can even pop your booty so you get a little Beyonce vibes going in this early morning already. As you extend your arms out in front of you and drop your forehead down to the mat. And take a moment to settle in, whatever that means for you, whatever you need to do. Any sort of fidgeting. Or maybe you're good to go and you can just simply start deepening your breath. So in today's class, we're going to work with twists, but we're going to work with using the core to support those twists and then using the core also to support some balance poses. So it should be a bit of fun. A nice exploration of what we're able to do. And of course, always remembering that I give plenty of options for whichever level you're at. So just be true to how you're feeling today, how your body's feeling, and never ever feel the pressure to go beyond what feels good for you. So let's stay here for about three more breaths before we start to build on. Feeling your ribcage expand as you inhale and feeling your hips soften and get heavy as you exhale. Just one more breath. And then you're welcome to stay here or if you want to start moving into the side body, press into your hands, lift your gaze and start to walk your hands over to the right about 50% of what you would usually do. So we're not going crazy with it. And then allow your forehead to rest back down. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, can you get even heavier in your left hip? And on your next inhale breath, direct that breath into your left lung and feel your rib cage expand, stretching your intercostal muscles, all those muscles in between each rib. One more breath here. And then again, slowly lift your gaze, walk your hands through center, and then again, just 50% over to the left. When you feel settled, drop your gaze, your forehead, and again, get heavy in that right hip. So feel as though you want to draw your right glute towards your right heel. And again, press into your hands as you inhale, breathe now into your right side lung. Feeling your right rib cage expand and stretching into those little muscles. One more breath here. Press into your hands, lift your gaze, walk your hands back to center. Keep your legs as they are, but we're going to shift forward and meet on all fours. Nice. But our big toes stay together, our knees stay wide. And from here, we'll start moving into our first twist. So pressing down into your left hand, spread your left fingertips wide. Inhale as you start to reach the right arm all the way up to the sky. Exhale, stay here. And now can you draw your fingertips back, press the palm of your hand up to the sky like you're holding a tray of beverages and you don't want them to spill on your face. <laughs> Take another inhale. And this time as you exhale, let's thread that right arm underneath the left, come onto the outside of the right shoulder and onto your right ear. Now adjust your body if you're feeling a little stuck and squishy, so make any small adjustments here that work for you. And then pop up onto your left fingerprints, push into your left fingertips to rotate your chest open to the left. Nice. And you're welcome to stay here, or maybe you start to reach that left arm up to the sky, flip the palm behind you, and then take a little bind. Maybe you can find your right thigh. Nice. And then notice if your head sort of drags away from your neck. Can you draw your chin towards your chest, 
So your neck is nice and long here. One more breath. If you're bound, start to come out of it now. Press back into your left hand. Inhale, right arm goes all the way up to the sky. And then exhale to place it back down. All right, set up for the other side. Right fingers are spread wide. As we inhale, reach that left arm all the way up. Exhale to pause. Find this rotation in your chest as you send your left fingertips back now. Press the palm of the hand up to the sky like you're pushing the ceiling away with Iron Man powers. <laughs> One more breath in. And then as, again, as you exhale, thread this left arm underneath your right, come onto the left ear. Let your head relax. Again, shift your body if you need to. Pop up onto your right fingerprints to rotate your chest more to the right. And feel free to stay here or start to send that right arm to the sky. Flip the palm of the hand behind you, bend your elbow, and maybe you can reach around and grab onto your left thigh. Nice. Just a few breaths here, tucking your chin slightly in towards your chest. Beautiful. Start to unravel the arm if it isn't already. Place your right hand down, press into that hand to inhale. Reach your left arm all the way back up and exhale. We'll meet again on all fours. This time, take your knees underneath your hip points. We'll move through a couple of rounds of cat cow. So, in your inhale breath, micro bend the elbows as you drop your belly, lift your chin, roll your sit bones to the sky. And as you exhale, press them out away, curl your chin to your chest and squeeze your belly button towards your spine. Nice. You guys know what to do here. Keep moving with your own breath, finding length in the front body as you inhale and all the space in the back body as you exhale. And of course, if you want to start coloring outside the lines and taking this baby on a few sexy circles or whatever feels good in your body today, please feel free. Keep breathing, using your breath to guide the movement, whatever that movement looks like, no rules. Sweet. And then on an inhale, bring yourself back to center. Tuck your toes underneath you, spread your fingers wide, press that mat away. Start to lift your chest up into your upper back body so you're hollowing out through your front body. And then really push down into the mat to lift the knees and let them hover. Ugh. That was mean. Can you squeeze your belly in? Nice. We're here for 75 more breaths. No, I'm kidding. Just one more. <laughs> Inhale. And then exhale to send your hips up high and back. First downward dog. So give that dog a little walk, bending one knee and then the other. Feel free to twist and turn through your hips. Whatever feels good. Shake out your head. A little bit yes, a little bit no. Maybe you like to open your mouth, stick out your tongue, make noise, blah, blah, blah. And then when you're ready, find stillness in your downward facing dog, pressing your hands into the mat. Now bend your knees, send your chest towards your thighs as you roll your sit bones high. Keep that juicy length in your spine. And if it feels okay, then start to press the fronts of the thighs onto the backs of your thighs as you lengthen your heels down towards the earth. One more breath in here, and out. Inhale, lift up high onto your tippy toes, bend your knees, and slowly start to walk to the top edge of your mat. We'll meet in Uttanasana forward fold with feet hips width distance apart. Grab a hold of opposite elbows and feel free to just bounce and dangle here for a little bit, like you're an apple floating up and down in a barrel of water. Blah, blah, blah because that's what apples do. <laughs> and then release your fingertips down to the earth. As you inhale, find your halfway lift, Adha Uttanasana, shoulders back, crown reaches forward. Exhale to fold. Two more like that, inhale, lengthen halfway. Can you bring a little more weight into your toes to lengthen the backs of your hamstrings? Exhale, fold. And last one, inhale, lengthen. Belly draws in here, even trying or starting to engage the core in these simple inversion moves. <laughs> nice. And now bend your knees, bring a little more weight into your heels this time. As you inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Big stretch. Hands come together and exhale, hands to your heart. Tadasana. All right. 
Are you ready? Inhale, reach your hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale again to lengthen halfway. Exhale, press into your hands and step, step back, plank pose. Nice, you're of course welcome to be on the knees here, no problem. Keep pressing the mat away, hollowing through your upper back body, take an inhale. Exhale to your knees and then lowering all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, roll your shoulders back and as you inhale, lift your chest, squeeze your elbows towards one another. And now press strongly into the tops of your feet, maybe you lift your hands and float them away from the mat. Nice, and then exhale, press into your hands, tuck your toes, hips to heels, and then again, roll that butt to the sky, find your downward facing dog with a super long spine. We're here for a couple of beats. Nice. Again, on an inhale, come up super high on your tippy toes, bend your knees, look where you wanna go and make your way to the top of your mat, however you like. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale again, arms reach all the way up. Look up, bring your hands together. Exhale, hands to your heart. Nice. This time as you inhale, open your arms wide to a cactus. So elbows are bent and your fingers are spread really wide here. Take an inhale to lift your chest and then exhale, interlace your fingertips behind you. Keep your elbows bent as you squeeze your elbows towards one another, shoulders back. Nice. And then if you like here, you can start to straighten the arms, lift the chest. Don't let your belly pop out though. Can you kind of draw your low ribs in? One more inhale breath. And then exhale again to fold forward over your legs. Nice. You're welcome to give your shoulders a little shimmy here. Let your head be really, really heavy. One more inhale. And then exhale, avoid slingshotting your arms as you release your fingertips back down to the mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, press into your hands again, step, step back, plank pose. Again, welcome to be on the knees if you like. Otherwise, keep lifting your chest away from the mat as you spike your heels back strongly. Think about drawing your pubic bone towards your nose so everything is engaged here as you inhale, shift forward, and exhale, lower all the way down in a straight line. Untuck your toes, shoulders to your ears, and then roll them way back behind you as you lift up for cobra. Again, activate those legs, lift your kneecaps away, maybe your hands float away from the earth, and then tuck your toes, hips to heels, lift that booty to the sky, downward dog. Nice work. One more inhale here. And one more exhale. Once again, come up onto your tippy toes, bend your knees, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, Adha Uttanasana when you get there. Exhale to fold. Press into your feet as you inhale, make your way all the way up. Hands come together. Exhale, hands to your heart, Tadasana. Alrighty, again, inhale, open your elbows wide like cactus arms, spread your fingertips. Exhale, start to draw your low belly, low ribs in, so your core is contained here. And then take your hands behind you, this time interlace your fingers with the weird thumb on top. Keep your belly drawing towards your spine as you squeeze your shoulders back, elbows together. Ugh, awkward. And now extend your arms, lift. And exhale to fold over your legs. Beautiful. Again, feel free to shake out any kind of tension that you've got going in your head. Maybe you again make a little noise with your mouth or horsey lips. I can't do horsey lips. <laughs> Release your fingers back to the earth. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, press into your hands and step it back. Plank pose. Take an inhale here. Exhale to make your way down to the mat. Ooh. Inhale, find your back bend. Heart reaches forward, elbows pull back. And then downward dog is where we're going to hang out. Nice. From your downward facing dog, take an inhale, send the right leg up high. Exhale to stay here. Can you press more down to your left hand, sorry, your right hand, and pull your left heel closer to the earth? And now lift that right leg even higher, deep breath in. 
Exhale, squeeze your knee to your nose and step your right foot next to your right thumb. And now let's step the left foot forward about a third of the way and pivot on your heel so your back foot's about 45 degrees. Nice. Your front knee can be very bent here. Take your hands to your waist and as you inhale, start to straighten through the front leg. Keep your spine long, keep your gaze directly down at the earth. And again, we don't need to lock out this front leg. It can be super bent, no problem. Roll your shoulders back. Squeeze those elbows together. And now can you pull the right hip crease back and rotate this left hip crease forward? A little pyramid pose. Nice. Take an inhale. If you've got it in you today, maybe you exhale and fold slightly closer towards your leg. This is just an option if you're a little more flexible in that right leg, pushing down through the left foot, one more breath in here, and then exhale, release your fingertips down, bend your front knee, and step, step back, downward facing dog. Option here for vinyasa if you want it. Nice everyone, beautiful. We'll meet in downward facing dog when you're ready. And then on your next inhale, your left leg lifts up high and back, three-legged dog. And then this time, press into your left hand a little more. Can you bring your chest closer to your right leg? Beautiful. And now inhale, reach that left leg higher. Inhale, inhale. And then exhale, squeeze your knee to your nose and step your left foot next to your left thumb. Beautiful. Again, step the right foot forward about a third of the way and point the toes out to the sides. Front knee is bent as you bring your hands to your waist. Roll your shoulders back. Start to draw your belly up towards your spine as you straighten through your left leg. Nice. Again, careful not to lock out this knee, especially if you know that you've got hypermobile joints. You can take a little micro bend there. Keep drawing the belly up. Keep reaching the crown of the head forward. Nice. Take an inhale. As you exhale, can you pull this left hip crease back and rotate your right hip crease forward? Hello, IT band. <laughs> of course, option to find more depth in this pose if that's accessible for you today. For me on this side, nope. <laughs> One more inhale. And then exhale, plant the hands, step, step back, downward facing dog. Vinyasa or no vinyasa, always your choice. Downward facing dog is where we're going to meet. When you're ready, come up high in those tippy toes, bend your knees, look where you want to go, and make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, both arms reach all the way up. Look up, bring your hands together, and exhale, hands to heart. Nice. Let your hands fall by your sides. Maybe give it a little shake. Puh. Puh. Sweet. Hair in my mouth. <laughs> All right, we're going to start moving into a balance now. So step over to the right side of your yoga mat. And then lift your left toes, spread your toes really wide, and then place them back down on the floor. And now lift your right heel and start to really ground down through that left leg. Beautiful. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, take that right knee with you. And then as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart, cross your right knee over your left. You can stay here or maybe you start to double wrap the legs and find little eagle legs here. Sink into your hips. Nice. If you want to skip the arms today, that's fine. Or send them out in front of you. Take the right arm underneath the left and then find your wrap of the arms here. Either bringing the palms of the hands together or the backs of the hands. And then lift your elbows in front of your nose and press the hands away. Feel this nice stretch across your shoulder blades as you inhale. And then exhale, maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Can you squeeze your thighs together and squeeze your forearms together? Start moving some of that lymph. Beautiful. Take an inhale. Final option, exhale. You can squeeze your elbows towards your knees and make yourself a little tiny garudasana. 
And then on your next inhale, start to unwrap your arms and your legs, send your arms and your right knee back in towards your chest. And then as you exhale, we're gonna sweep this right leg all the way back and around to the left. Maybe your toes even come off of your mat. Bring your hands to your waist, like we're in a, a curtsy. Bend deeply through your front knee. Nice, you can bring the back heel down or lift it, doesn't matter. Inhale, reach both arms up. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Exhale, stay. Inhale, pull your right arm to the sky. And as you exhale, lean to the left. And the more you bend into this left leg, the more depth you're gonna get in the pose. And now can you roll your top shoulder back, your bottom shoulder forward? Maybe you look down and give your left armpit a little sniff. <laughs> nice, one more breath in here. And then as you exhale, release your hands and step forward to the top of your mat. Nice, and then do a little hot shoe shuffle to the left side. To the left, to the left. Okay, that's two Beyonce references, I will stop now. <laughs> okay, blah, blah, blah. shake it off. And now lift your right toes, spread your right toes wide and set the back down. Lift your left heel, start to ground down into your right leg to find that balance. Nice. Hands together at your heart. On an inhale, reach your arms to the sky, take your left knee with you. Beautiful. Exhale, cross your left leg over your right. Start to sink deeply as your hands come back in front of your heart. You're welcome to stay here like you're sitting pretty in a little chair, or maybe you can wrap that left foot around the back of your right calf, and maybe not, doesn't matter. Stay here, or to incorporate the arms, reach them out in front of you, Take your left arm underneath your right this time and find the wrap of the arms that works for you. Lift your elbows and press the hands away from the face. Really exaggerate the stretch in the back of the shoulders. You bring that stretch. Take an inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your forearms. Nice, you can stay here or start to curl your elbows towards your knees. So the story of Garuda is that he was born so bright that he was asked to dim himself and that's why eagle looks like this and not big and open. On an inhale, shine that light as you reach the arms out, take your left knee towards your chest and as you exhale, swing the left leg way back behind you off to the right, hands to your waist. Yeah, you got it. Beautiful bend through your right knee. Inhale, arms reach up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Exhale, stay. Inhale to pull that left arm to the sky. And as you exhale, lean to the right. Ooh, such a big opening through the side body. Maybe you find some pulses here, bouncing your leg up and down nice and slow. Maybe you're like, mm-mm, I'm gonna just breathe. All good, one more inhale here. And then exhale, release. Bring yourself back to the top of your mat. Give everything a little Taylor Swift. Shake it out. Blah. Nice. Okay, so that block that we have, grab him now and bring your block to the outside of your right, the out, right side of your mat. Why couldn't I say that? Anyway, <laughs> feet together at the top, hands together at your heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Press into your hands and step it back. Vinyasa here if you want it. If not, you can hang out with me in down dog. Grab a little beverage. Down dog is where we're going to meet. On an inhale, reach that right leg straight up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale now, bend your knees, start to open through your right side. Again, really press down through the right hand, draw your left heel to the earth, and can you lift your right knee even higher, deep breath in. And then exhale, step your foot next to your right thumb. Nice, drop your back knee, untuck your back toes. Inhale, arms reach up, Anjaneyasana. Nice. All right, take another breath in as you, you reach your fingertips high, and as you exhale, bend your elbows. Find those cactus arms again, spread your fingers wide. Nice. Now, 
As you use your exhale, can you draw your belly in like someone's coming to punch you in the gut? Really <coughs> brace yourself. And that's the core engagement we need to move into this twist. So inhale to lift your chest. Exhale, squeeze your belly in and start to rotate open to the right. Nice. Take another inhale, find length. Exhale, rotate to the right. <coughs> inhale one more time. Exhale, rotate to the right. Keep spreading your fingers. This time, start to shift your torso forward, hook your left elbow outside your right knee, and bring your hands together in Anjali Mudra at your heart, or Namaste hands, or whatever you want to call them. Beautiful. Keep rotating your chest towards your thumb, and don't let your belly just hang out now that your arms are working. Can you keep a little engagement in your belly to find that twist from your core? And you're welcome to stay here, or you can tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. Final option, the block is there, so you can take your left hand down to your block at any height, and then maybe extend your right arm to the sky. Beautiful, we're here for one more inhale. And then as you exhale, take both hands down to the mat. You can move this block to the other side, prep. And then drop your back knee. Inhale, reach your heart forward, and then as you exhale, shift your hips back, straighten through the front leg, and flex your toes, so really spread them wide, like you're about to get your nails done. <laughs> nice. Inhale, reach your sternum forward, and as you exhale, maybe take a little micro bend in your elbows. And maybe you're like, mm -mm, I'm all the way up here. It's totally fine. One more breath here. Sweet. Exhale, roll it forward, press into the hands, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and step back for a plank. Again, you can skip this bit or find your back bend, opening your heart, and exhale, we'll meet together in downward facing dog. Yay. Give it a little bouncy, a little shaky, whatever your doggy needs. And when you're ready, Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend your knee, open through the left side. Again, press strongly into your left hand, pull the right heel towards the earth. Can you lift from the inner seam of your left leg? Nice, whatever that means, take one more breath in. And then exhale, take your knee to your nose, step your left foot next to your left thumb, and then drop the back knee. Inhale, arms reach up, Anjali. Exhale, micro, sorry, super bend to your elbows. Spread your fingers really wide. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, squeeze that belly in. Like you're about to get whacked. Nice. All right, we're moving into that twist. Take another inhale. Exhale, use your belly muscles to rotate to the left. Inhale. Exhale, rotate. One more. Inhale. Exhale, rotate like a little wind up doll. Yes, yeah, super good. Take another inhale. This time, exhale, start to lean forward. Hook your right elbow outside your left knee. Bring your hands together. Rotate your chest towards your thumbs. Beautiful. Nice. You're welcome to stay here or tuck your back toes. Start to lift your back knee. Yes. This is a happy place to live, also. Or if you want to use that prop, you can take your right arm down to your block at any level, and then extend the left arm to the sky. Can you lift your hips a little higher, spike the back leg? One more inhale here. And then exhale, take both hands down, move your block back over to the right side, drop your left, uh, right knee. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, hips move back, toes flex. Find that runner's lunge. Sweet. And again here, always feel free to adjust your body. Sometimes when we shift our hips back, they go way, way back. So don't ever feel that you have to be stuck in a shape. Nice. Keep using your inhale to lengthen your spine. And again, use the exhale as you draw your belly in. Maybe you find a little more space to fold. We're here for one more breath. Sweet. And then roll it forward, press into your hands, step it back. Vinyasa if you want it. Nice. 
We'll meet in downward facing dog. When you're ready, come up high onto your tippy toes, bend your knees, look where you want to go, and make your way to the top of your mat. This time, walk your feet hips width distance or a little wider and fold. Grab a hold of opposite elbows here. Let yourself dangle. Maybe you do little bouncy, soft knees, whatever you like. And when you're ready, release your fingertips to the mat. Inhale to lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale again, lengthen. This time, take your hands above your knees, up to your thighs, and then bend your knees. And you're kind of in this position where you look like you're about to hurl at a music festival back when we were allowed to do that. So that's where we are. Where, that's where we at. So bend your knees. Press into your hands, and as you inhale, roll your shoulders back, reach your heart forward, think cat, cow pose. And then as you exhale, press into your legs, round your spine, bring your chin to chest, think cat. Inhale to open. You can pop that booty back. <laughs> exhale, round. Nice, one more. Inhale, open through your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, opposite direction. Nice. On your next inhale, press into your feet to reach your arms all the way up to the sky, find length. And then exhale, forward fold. Nice, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, press into your hands and make your way back into downward facing dog, however you like. Beautiful. Sweet. All right, from your downward dog, once again, send that right leg straight up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale to stay. Can you spread your toes here and then lift from your glutes? So lift your right leg even higher. Exhale, squeeze your knee to your nose, give a kiss, and then step your right foot next to your right thumb. Beautiful, drop your back knee down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, cactus bend your arms. Nice. Set up that core, take another breath in, lift your chest. Exhale, hug your belly muscles in. All right, let's move into that twist. Take another inhale. Exhale, crank yourself open to the right. That sounds good, doesn't it? Inhale, lift. Exhale to the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the right. Take another inhale. This time, exhale, lean forward. Hook your left elbow outside your right knee. Bring your hands together. Nice. Find your twist. Option again to tuck the back toes, lift your back knee. Stay here or find that block and maybe you spread your wings open and wide. Beautiful. Wherever you're at, if your back knee is still down, untuck it now. Take an inhale. Exhale, start to lower the right hand down towards the mat. We're going to take this block in front of us and then send both arms to the sky as you take your left knee with you. And then exhale, hug the knee towards your chest. Use your hands. Beautiful. All right, now we're in a little one-legged standing Tadasana. You can stay here or take your right hand to your left knee and send your left fingertips directly out in front of you. Breathe as you lengthen. And then like Robin Hood pulling an arrow back, can you start to bend your left elbow? Maybe you follow the, your hand with your gaze. Maybe not. As you send that left arm way back behind you. Nice. Stand up super tall here. Deep breath in. And out. One more inhale. One more exhale. On your next inhale, we're going to paint a big rainbow with the left arm, so reach it up to the sky, and then remember that block that we put down in front of us. See if you can reach down for your block with your left hand as you extend the left leg out in front of you. Let your right fingertips fall down to the earth, so we're in a bit of a warrior three variation here. And then we're going to do that Robin Hood situation with our right hand now as we draw our elbow up to the sky. Start to rotate your chest open to the right and find 
a little revolved half moon pose. Activate your left toes, squeeze your glutes to lift your legs. You're doing so amazing. This is super hard pose. One more inhale breath here. As you exhale, bend into your front knee, tap your toes back down. We'll meet in high lunge just for a beat here. Deep breath in, and then exhale, send your hands down and step it back. Vinyasa or no vinyasa. If your block is in your way, move it over to the left. That's where it's, we're gonna use it next. Whew. Nice. Take three breaths in your downward facing dog. Maybe you let the exhale out of your mouth. Balancing is a lot of hard work. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale to stay. Spread your left toes, and can you activate the left leg to lift it even higher? Exhale as you squeeze your knee to your nose, give a kiss, and then left foot next to your left thumb. Beautiful, drop your back knee. Inhale, arms reach up, Anjane Asana. Exhale, bend your elbows, find those cactus arms. Beautiful, set up this core. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, like you're gonna get punched. Inhale to lift, exhale, rotate to the left. Inhale, exhale, like you're winding up an old school toy. One more inhale. One more exhale to the left. Inhale here, and then exhale, lean it forward as you hook the right elbow outside your left knee. Bring your hands together. Nice. Again, don't forget that belly to help you twist here. Stay or tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Activate the back leg if you're taking that option. And then of course, if you wanna find your wings, you can use your props to help the floor come to you. Nice. We're here for an inhale. Use that exhale to send the left hand down, like you're doing a little circle. Pop that block in front of you. And then both arms reach up, take the right knee with you. And then exhale, hug your knee in towards your chest. Nice. Notice if you have a tendency to lean back here, can you get your shoulders over your hips? Yeah. Nice. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Left hand to your right knee, right arm goes in front of you. All right, bring all your focus to that right hand as you slowly draw your elbow back. Maybe you follow your hand with your gaze. Maybe that ain't gonna work for you today, no problem. Find a standing twist. Again, notice here if you lean back, can you stand up really tall? Beautiful, press down into your left leg. Nice. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right arm goes up to the sky. Paint this big rainbow all the way up. And as your hand comes down, send the right leg way back behind you. Reach for that block, let your left fingertips just hang down there. Nice. So our right foot is super active. And then again, we're going to Robin Hood with the left hand now. Start to draw your elbow back, rotating your chest open to the left. As you send that left arm up, keep activating your legs. So good. <laughs> Falling is part of it. It's all good. What we learn in yoga is if you fall, you just do it again. No problem. No one cares. <laughs> one more big breath in here. And then exhale, bend through your front leg, tap your back toes down. High lunge is where we're gonna meet. Take an inhale. And then exhale, tap your hands down. Vinyasa. Or not. We've worked very hard this morning. So I think let's all reward ourselves by bringing the big toes together, sending the knees as wide as your yoga mat. Untucking your toes, sending your hips to your heels, and finding a rest in child's pose. And remembering that if child's pose is not restful for you, then please come to a seat or shavasana or something that allows your body to reset, allows you to breathe deeply with no effort. Nice, 
breaths. We'll be here for three more breaths. One more breath. From here, press into your hands. Slowly lift your gaze and send your hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Feel free to twist and bend and turn. Find movements here that feel nice for your hips. And then when you're ready, Inhale, reach the right leg straight up and back. And this time, exhale, we're moving into pigeon pose. So take your right knee behind your right wrist, slide this left leg way back, and come into your little pigeon. Nice. Lift your chest. And as you exhale, slowly make your way all the way down. Actually, if your block is handy, maybe you even use that as a little pillow for your head. If that's something that you're into. And we'll stay in pigeon for about five breaths. And see how much presence you can bring to this pose. So rather than thinking about when it's going to be over or thinking about what just happened, see if you can stay with your breath and just experience what's happening right now. Find your final inhale and exhale. Stay here for longer if you would prefer. Otherwise, make your way up. And then we're going to roll all the way over onto our booty. And then flip the left leg and come into this fan shape. Nice. You might like to move your goods out of the way. <laughs> Sweet. From here, inhale, reach your arms to the sky, and then exhale to rotate your chest towards your left leg. Nice. Take another inhale, lift up, and then exhale, start to fold towards your left leg. And remember that there are really no goals here that are set. Just if you're starting to feel a stretch, doesn't mean that you have to face plant your shin. All good. Anytime there's a fold, I really like to close down my eyes so that I can just be with the experience rather than worrying about getting somewhere. You might like to sway a little. Nice. From here, press into your hands, straighten your arms as you inhale, lengthen. And then take your right hand behind you, send your left arm to the sky as you lift your hips, find your flesh dance pose. Can you rotate your chest open to the sky? One more inhale, breath here. And then exhale, sweep it on down. Nice, send the legs out in front of you. Give them one of these, little shakey, shake, shakes. <laughs> And then cross your ankles, roll it forward, and we'll meet again in Downward Facing Dog. Of course, final option for vinyasa here. If you want it, please do whatever your body is asking you for. Downward Dog is where we're going to meet and set up for Pigeon on the other side. So inhale, send your left leg up high. And then exhale, knee behind your wrist as you slide your right leg way back. Take a little moment to set up here, lifting your chest and using the exhale to come down to whatever level suits you today. Five breaths here.
Again, you're welcome to stay here longer if you're really enjoying this pose otherwise. So at least to make your way back up. And this time we'll roll onto the left hip. I'm going to spin around. Extend your right leg out to the side. Again, you can move your booty out of the way. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, rotate to the right. We're very good at this now. <laughs> Take another inhale. And then exhale to fold towards your extended leg. Nice. See if you can continue using your inhale breath to reach your sternum forward, your heart forward. And using that exhale to maybe find a little space. And you can do all of this with your eyes closed. I promise you can. Final breath here. Press into your hands to sit up tall. This time take the left hand behind you. As you inhale, sweep your right arm to the sky. Lift your hips. Find all this space and opening through your whole body. Deep breath in. And then exhale to come back down to earth. Extend your legs out in front of you. Give them a good little shakey shake. Nice. And then from here, bring the soles of your feet together, your knees nice and wide, and give yourself plenty of space. So we're making more of a diamond shape rather than um, very yogi Vata Konasana legs. And if you can grab a hold of your ankles or your feet, do that as you roll your chest forward, shoulders back. Find length in your spine, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, just meet your appropriate edge today. Again, your eyes can be closed here as you soften and start to cool down for the end of our practice. Deep breath. Nice. Tuck your chin to your chest as you roll your spine back up. Take your hands behind your knees and bring them together. And then you can stay here with your hands behind your legs, just leaning back, opening your chest. We'll finish up with a tiny little bit of sneaky core. Maybe you start to float your toes away from the mat. So now we're in Navasana or Navasana variation, boat pose. Stay here or reach your fingertips forward towards your feet. Hmm. And then from here, if you want, you can start to take some movement. So as you inhale, extend your right leg forward and then exhale, squeeze your knees in, bring your hands to your heart. And then inhale, left leg forward, reach your arms. Exhale, squeeze everything back in. So that's the movement. Inhale, one leg reaches forward, arms reach forward. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale to squeeze. Nice. You can stay like this or you can build on. And the next time you extend your right leg, you can rotate your chest to the left. Ooh, so this time, in this version, our hands stay together at our heart. We've been doing so much of this the whole practice. You're like, Hannah, you lied. You said we were cooling down. I did lie. Apologies. <laughs> Nice. Core with a smile is really the only way that you can get through it because it just sucks. <laughs> One more breath. And then maybe you extend everything ah! and then roll it forward. Beautiful. Let your legs go forward, move your booty out of the way. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky and exhale, forward fold, Pachimottanasana. Feel free to bend your knees generously here, no problem. Again, close down the eyes if that's an option that you want to take today. Don't feel that you have to be stuck in the shape if there's anything that you want to move about or shift some energy or stretch something out. Feel free. And then when you're ready, slowly roll it up. 
and then keep the roll going as you come all the way down onto your backs. Nice. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little rock and roll here even. So much rolling around today. And then here, you're welcome to finish up in any twist that you would like. So we've done so many today. I'm going to go for the little Apanasana version. So that's the one where we first, this is Apanasana. So bringing our right knee towards our, our chest and extending the left leg out. And then from this shape, you can shift your hips to the right and then draw your knee over towards the left. But if this is not what you feel like doing, and you'd rather take eagle legs or both your knees together, feel free to get creative with your practice. Nice. Slowly make your way back to center. And then shift your hips, switch it up so the left knee comes in if you're taking that option. Of course, if you're in a different version, then you know what to do. And then once your knee is hugged in, take your left knee over to the side. Ah, maybe you get a few little clicks and pops. See if you can work to flatten your shoulder blades down towards the earth. And flatten is kind of a yucky word, but... You know what I mean. One more breath in here. And exhale to bring yourself back to center. Shift your hips. Hug both knees towards your chest. Reach inside of your legs for the outer edges of your feet. We'll finish up in a happy baby pose. So flex your soles of your feet to the sky as you bend your knees towards your armpits. See if you can bring your tailbone down towards the earth and at the same time, plug those shoulder blades down so your back should feel really connected to the ground, should feel really nice. And then stay here in a stretchy pose or maybe find movement here. You can extend one leg and then the other. And of course, if there are any final moves that you desperately need for your practice before we come into Shavasana, then that's your thing. Do whatever serves you today. Shavasana is where I'm going to meet you. Extending my legs out as wide as my yoga mat, arms to the sides, shoulder blades snuggled underneath. Give yourself a very attractive double chin so that the back of your neck is nice and long. Take a full breath in through your nose. And let it out your mouth. Do that again, breathe in deeply. And then hold the breath at the top. Hold it for just three more beats. Two, three, open your mouth and sigh it out. And in a few moments, I will bring you out of Shavasana.
You're welcome to stay here for as long as you need. But if you are ready to get on with your day, then slowly start to make movements with your fingertips, your toes. Allow your breath to softly deepen. Maybe your head moves from one side to the other. And on your next inhale, interlace your fingertips and reach them to the sky. And then overhead, give yourself a big good morning stretch. And as you exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze before rolling to your favorite side and staying there for just a moment. Feeling yourself supported by the earth in this position that represents a new start. Try and keep your eyes closed as you make your way up into a comfortable seat of your choice. Take your hands together in front of your heart as you inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, bow your chin in a gesture of gratitude for your practice today and for your incredible body that lets you do some super cool stuff and for anything else that you feel really grateful for. When you're ready, gently lift your chin and open your eyes. Thank you all so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.